Look at this. Good morning. Have you come to see me for a treat? I'm out of treats. I only have crumbs left. Here you go. Shall we go see your sister? Mika, do you want some crumbs? Oh, hi. I only have crumbs. Not good enough for a princess? No. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Vogue Bandwagon. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining us. And my name's Sam. So, this video today is going to be a little different than what you usually see on our channel. We are doing a vlog style diet review. So what I'm going to do is for 15 days, I'm going to do Harley Pasternak's Body Reset Diet. And I'm going to take you along with me and let you know what I'm doing and how I feel and if it's worth doing, if I lose any weight, all that good stuff. So just keep watching. I'm going to grab my tea and I'll tell you more about the diet. Okay guys, I'm ready with my purple polka dot pajamas and my lemon water. Let's start this diet. I'm, I'm ready. So a bit of background on the book and the author. It's uh, created by Harley Pasternak, who is a famous celebrity trainer. If you don't know him, he's trained celebrities like Megan Fox, Alicia Keys, Kanye West, um, Halle Berry, Jordana Brewster, Kim Kardashian. Almost forgot. Kimmy K. If it's good enough for Kimmy K, it's good enough for me. Okay? So, um, I think he got his claim to fame in the early 2000s when Catwoman came out because he was actually Halle Berry's trainer for that movie. So he got her body in Catwoman shape. And I think we can all agree that she was looking fire for that movie. Like, she was fit AF. So when that came out, Everyone was like, oh my god, I need Halle Berry's body, like, how do I look like that? So he was on Oprah and a bunch of different talk shows talking about how um, they got Halle Berry into shape and um, workout plans and health regimes and stuff like that. And then he wrote two books himself, I think two or more, maybe. Um, he's just killing the celebrity training game. Like, he's a household name now. So I heard about this diet from... What's that show called? Revenge Body. Khloe Kardashian's show, obviously. It's like another case of the Kardashians made me do it. I'll just do anything that they say. So he was um, helping this young girl through her transformation on Revenge Body. He was her celebrity trainer. And he got her to do the body reset diet before they did any work in the gym. So that he could like reset her metabolism and get her off the junk food and just get her moving. So she did that for 15 days, got 12,000 steps a day, stuck to the meal plan, and she lost like 14 pounds before she ever even hit the gym. So that was really good, and her transformation was amazing. So after that episode, I <laughs> looked it up for myself, and I saw a lot of articles from like Shape Magazine and stuff like that, and fitness blogs um, talking about it, so I decided I wanted to try it too, and take you guys along with me and do my own review. So I got the book off Amazon. If you're interested after this review in purchasing the book, we'll have it linked below. So we're going to start this. It is 15 days in three phases. Each phase is five days. And the first five days is all smoothies. So it's a breakfast smoothie, a white smoothie. Lunch is red smoothie. Dinner is a green smoothie, and then you get two crunchy snacks throughout the day, so it's not completely liquid. You can have carrots and hummus between breakfast and lunch, or like an apple between breakfast and dinner, and uh, 12,000 steps a day. After that, phase two, you cut out one of your smoothies and replace it with an S meal. So that is a soup, salad, stir fry, or sandwich, but you got to keep it healthy. So if you cut out dinner, um, cut out your dinner smoothie and replace it with like a soup or something like that. And then the next five days you cut out another smoothie and replace it with an est meal and uh, have your breakfast smoothie, maybe have a salad for lunch or a stir fry for dinner and keep doing 12,000 steps. You're kind of reintegrating food back into your diet after being on like a smoothie thing for like five days. So 
that's that. I won't give too much away about like the recipes and stuff because it is a book and I don't want to infringe on any like copyright things. He did create these to sell in a book so I can't tell you exactly what's in my smoothie but I'm going to take you along with me for 15 days. I'm going to tell you how I feel, tell you how they taste, <laughs> tell you if I think that anything's happening. I'll give you my end results and uh, yeah. So let's do this. You guys are going to keep me accountable because I'm notorious for starting fad diets and then just falling off the face of the earth and getting a pizza or creating a healthy lifestyle change and then stuffing my face later because I'm bored. That's really it. I just get bored. But you guys are with me on this. You'll keep me accountable and I will give you my true and honest end result. Okay. Day one, meal one, I am blending my white smoothie for breakfast. That's not bad. That's pretty good. It's just like apples, bananas, stuff like that, cinnamon, good stuff. Not bad. I think I'm gonna like this. I think I can do a smoothie diet. I can stick to that. <laughs> I'll update you. Hey guys, it's the end of day one and I'm just checking in. I'm finishing off my dinner smoothie, the green smoothie. Um, it's actually r really good. What? I'm in my cat spot. She doesn't like that. Whatever. So it's actually really good and I was surprised because it has a lot of spinach and uh, it has pear in it and I don't like pear. But it has grapes in it too and avocado and um, Greek yogurt, like all the stuff that I do like. So. It worked out. Um, thoughts on day one. I'm really impressed so far. I'm going to put this down. Ugh, I'm really impressed so far with the diet. Like, I feel full. And I didn't think I would feel full. I thought I would feel more deprived. But I do feel full. And I've had my snacks. So you're still eating five times a day. Um, I forgot to mention in the book. He does have recipes for you. Um, so if you're not a fan of the white smoothie he suggests, he has a whole, like, white smoothie recipe section. So you can make your own white smoothie, or he has a guide to all the basics for making your own smoothie from scratch. And um, exercise suggestions and snack suggestions. So I'm having a lot of fun reading the book more and more the more I get into it. As far as exercise, I got 12,011 steps today. I was running around like crazy trying to get that and I was also really busy but <laughs> I went back and read in the book and I was mistaken I thought it said 12 steps but or 12,000 steps but it's only 10,000 steps so but I'll keep trying to get 12,000 steps every day and see what happens so the only thing is I do feel tired I feel like I'm craving bread and stuff like that. I just feel tired. Um, I feel like part of that though is I didn't drink enough water today and I feel like especially with this um, little diet plan you have to drink a lot of water. And I forgot to mention this morning but you're allowed to have water, tea, coffee and any sugar free like vitamin water zero or whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna stick to water. I don't really like vitamin water but water, tea and coffee that's that's good with me so I will do my best to drink more water and stick to this 100% I think I can do it it was really easy today actually the smoothies were so filling and I didn't feel like I was going without food or I was like starving so I will check back in with you in a couple days and let you know how I am progressing good night I'm gonna finish my smoothie and I'll see you in the next clip Good morning beauties! Welcome back. It is day four and I just made my breakfast smoothie. It's going really well so far. I think the last time I talked to you guys was day one. Um, so since then I have been sticking to it 100% trying to get all my steps in. I'm not always getting to 12,000 because like who am I? <sighs> but I'm getting close. <laughs> like I think um, day two I got like 9,000 and day three I got like 10,000. So today, I'm really busy. I'm going to try and get 12,000. Um, something I've noticed was I'm really loving these smoothies. Like, I think I'll continue them after. Like, I really like these recipes. 
<laughs> and the book gets more and more interesting like the more you read the more you learn about just like the health industry so I'm feeling a lot more energetic I feel like I feel lighter not that I look lighter because I like I was looking at myself today and I'm like I don't think I look lighter but I feel less bloated and I feel like less inflammation in my face and my pimples and stuff and um, other than that I feel more energetic like I feel like I wake up less groggy and can do things in the morning like get a bunch of stuff done in the morning drink a lot of water I feel happy energetic and I don't feel like puffy like a lot of mornings <laughs> so I'm gonna just get to my day and I will talk to you later Hey guys, welcome back. I just got home from work, so excuse my messy self and my messy kitchen, but I just wanted to come on here and fill you in. It is day six, and um, that means I'm in phase two of the Body Reset Diet. We're like moving on this thing, and I get to have now two smoothies and one S meal as phase two states, so it can be a soup stir-fry salad or sandwich and tonight I'm going to choose a soup and I'm really excited. So phase two came just in time because I was getting a little bored of smoothies for every meal especially when my fiance is eating like regular and I'm just sipping on a green smoothie while he's eating chicken fingers and it hurts my feelings. But I think Having one meal at the end of the day to look forward to while you're on the rest of the liquid diet is going to be more motivating. Um, I was The boredom was starting to kick in, so this came just in time. <laughs> so for dinner, I'm going to have a soup, and I know Harley has recipes and stuff in his book, but I'm just going to do the busy girl hack and use local soup girl. And it's mason jars of dried ingredients, um, prepackaged, and you just... Simmer it for an hour in eight cups of water, and you make a beautiful, delicious soup. This one is Canadian lentil and split pea, so it's Caribbean rice and pea soup, which should be really good, um, really hearty. I'm excited about that. I'm hungry. Um, if you want Soup Girls information, We'll link it down below. I always get it at the farmer's market in the summer and just at the general store around the corner from my house um, in off seasons. So really tasty. I love this and you know it's really good ingredients. It says exactly what's in it on the package and you really like, there's nowhere it can hide. You can't go wrong with this. Okay, so the soup is cooking. It's just simmering while I make a mess. And it's gonna do that for an hour. If you guys could smell this, you would die. It smells amazing. Hey guys, it is day 11 out of 15 on the Body Reset Diet. And I'm just entering into phase three, which means I can have my breakfast smoothie and then two S meals for the rest of my meals. And I'm really excited about that. I think that phase two went well because I was able to have a healthy dinner and I didn't have to sit there and have like a green smoothie which was getting boring but um, I was really busy last week starting a new job and running around getting all this stuff done so I think that it helped by the time I was through my day I'd had two smoothies and then I had like a nice meal to come home and relax too so I think that made it a little easier <laughs> but phase three should be really easy because it's two meals and just a smoothie for breakfast. I'm not big on breakfast anyway, so I would probably just have a smoothie regardless. So I'm going to go for a walk to try and get my 12,000 steps in, which I will not lie, I haven't been great at, but we're gonna see if I can get 12,000 today. And then I'm gonna come home and make a salad for lunch, and I'll show you my salad. Okay guys, this is my salad that I'm having for lunch. Look how good it looks. Yes, it's store-bought. I'm busy, don't kill me, whatever. But it has spring greens, um, goat cheese, almond slivers, strawberries, cranberries, blueberries. So it should be really good. I'm just gonna drizzle some balsamic on it and that's a nice healthy lunch. Okay guys. So it is day 13 and we're almost done. Two more days. Um, 
phase three has been so much easier because you're having two meals a day and the mornings just fly for me and I only have a smoothie and I'm just not really that into breakfast. So it's been really easy. Um, I've just been having salads and soups. I had one stir fry, but soups and salad are so easy. And when you're coming home from work to get something healthy, usually it's a soup or a salad. So um, I've been loving it. I feel good. I'm afraid to weigh myself because I don't want to get discouraged if it's not as much weight as I think I've lost. I don't know. So I'm going to wait to weigh myself and show you guys. Well, I won't show you my weight, but <laughs> I'll tell you guys how much I lost after I'm done. So we'll wait the full 15 days before I do a little weigh in. Hey guys, welcome to day 15 of the body reset diet. Um, it is my last day. So I feel like I can accurately give you guys a review of the diet and how I'm feeling. So it is about 7.30 in the morning. I'm like half ready for work. I just haven't gotten dressed yet. So I am going to go weigh in and see if I lost any weight before I get like eating for the day. And then I will start to tell you my review and if I lost any weight. So wait here. All right. Be good to me. Oh my god! Yay! I lost nine pounds. That's really good for, oh my god, for just eating. Because I didn't get a lot of days where I got 12,000 steps. <laughs> so that's good. Okay, one second. Okay, I'm back. And that's a good way to start a Monday out right, losing some weight. Yes. I'm glad that I waited till the end to weigh myself and didn't weigh myself throughout because I feel like if I didn't lose weight um, throughout the first little bit or not as much through the second little bit that I would have got discouraged. So I'm happy that I held out and waited to do a final weigh-in. So I lost um, what did I say last clip? Nine pounds. That's really good for just eating. And I know that we were supposed to get 12,000 steps every day, but I didn't. <laughs> like, I was pretty busy starting a new job, and it's an office job, so I, I can only get up so many times. So, um, I'll give you my review. I really enjoyed that. I thought it was, um, a good little program and I didn't feel deprived and just when I was starting to get bored with something oh it went to a different phase and then I could change it up so when I was starting to get sick of my green smoothie I could all of a sudden have soup for dinner which makes me happy or a salad or a stir fry or a sandwich so and then when I got a little bored of my lunch smoothie it's okay cut it out because now you get to have lunch so um, making three five-day phases I feel like really breaks it up for you and makes it a little easier. So um, Harley's book was really informative too and I think I learned a lot through reading the book and learning um, different things about each phase and I feel like that's knowledge that I'll carry throughout as I go and try to make this a little bit healthier lifestyle. Um, I feel like I'll continue to have that breakfast smoothie, the white smoothie. Um, it's the apple pie smoothie. And it's bomb. Like, it's really good, and I love it. And the lunch smoothie's so good, too. Um, when I feel like I need a bit of a cleanse, maybe I'll do the green smoothie, but it wasn't my favorite. <laughs> um, but those other ones are so good, and, like, I learned a lot of good nutritional things and the importance of getting your steps in so I will definitely take that with me in the future do I think it's worth doing yes if you are looking for something to just kickstart your metabolism and get you seeing results instantly to motivate you to keep going on your journey then I definitely recommend the body reset diet it is awesome and it's good for people that have really bad junk food cravings like myself because it kind of kicks them and then if you do have like a little piece of candy it's it's no big deal but it's not as gratifying because you're really not craving it and uh, this book kind of just teaches you how to eat 
what am I trying to say? This book just teaches you how to portion your meals and how to eat healthy. So I think it's a really good book to buy and it's a good read and it's a good thing to try. So I give it two big thumbs up and I hope you guys give it a try. And if you do give it a try, let me know what you think. I'll have the information linked below and we will see you in our next video. Have a great day.